Hello new friends, hello old friends, welcome to my channel. For those who don't know, my name is May, this is Jin, and today I'm drinking tea. But see, if you would just, if you would come right here and do something cute, that'd be a great intro. That is absolutely perfect. Yeah, that was perfect. On this channel, I open a box called Sakurako. In every Sakurako, you get a tea. Bag of tea? Anyway. Um, these are from the last two Sakurakos. That's September, and this one is from August. So, if you watched the Sakurako unboxing on this channel, then you'll see that I got this. It looked familiar, but no, I haven't actually had it before. Here it is. Um, and this is the hojicha tea from the last, or from the Sakurako on this channel. Oh, I don't know if I need more or less caffeine. <laughs> okay. Um, a box that I'm not going to be unboxing on this channel is Boxu. <clears throat> In every Boxu, you get tea. Uh, I am no longer unboxing Boxu, however. I used to do it on my other channel that I hate and keep talking about, even though I don't want to talk about it. Um, but yeah, I unboxed it over there. Uh, and that's why I have the tea from their August box. So today I'm going to be trying these three teas. To the best of my knowledge, they don't have anything at all in common other than the fact that they are tea. Um, I guess I will read the descriptions. If you did see the Sakurako unboxing, then you'll, have, you'll remember the stuff. I had it here because I didn't want to read it. Well, turns out I really, really hate how that turned out. I don't like it there, and if I adjust it, then it cuts pieces off, and... So, I'm just gonna read out loud. However, I have a reading disability, so I'm going to stumble through and mispronounce things and do my very best. Please just bear with me here. Okay. Where should I start? Let's start with the boxu, because it's special. Hakone, Sanroku, Black Tea, Akafuji. This black tea is a blend of leaves from local Kanagawa tea makers, chosen for their fine quality. The flavor is bold yet smooth, and a bit fragrant, almost floral. There are brewing instructions that I'm not going to follow. Maybe I'll follow the time there, but I'm I'm not gonna sit there with the thermometer and check the temperature of the water. I'm just I'm just not that person. I respect you if you are that person, but I'm not gonna do it. So there is that. Uh, next I will do August Sakurako. Oh my lord, there are so many words here. <clears throat> okay, I can do this. Okinawa Sanpincha. Sanpin? Yeah. I goes E, right? <laughs> I'm trying. Uh, a blend of Chinese and Japanese tea leaves and jasmine flowers has been Okinawa's tea of choice for centuries. Incredibly refreshing, both hot or iced, this low caffeine, low caffeine content makes it the perfect tea for any time of day. Mildly sweet, it complements any kind of treat. And again, there are brewing instructions. And finally, from September Sakurako, the one that I've unboxed here.
Gion Tsujiri Hojicha. Gently roasted from the inside through a Gently roasted from the inside through a sand oven. This hojicha has a strong aroma but light flavor, pairing well with both sweets and savory snacks. It is the perfect palate cleanser. So I'm going to take these and make some tea. Uh, I'm not going to do that, take you up and show you like the pouring of the water and everything because that just gets too complicated. So I will be back when there is tea. And I'm back. Jim is still here. She's just over here now. Okay, so with these teas, I'm gonna start with the Boxu one. It is the Hakone San Roku Black Tea Akafuji. This might still be too hot to drink. It's tea. It's definitely black tea. It's like almost an orange pico, but not as sweet. It's got a bitter aftertaste. And something... Are you the one that's supposed to be floral? You are. Okay. Yeah, like a floral... When you like sniff it, it's definitely floral. I and mean, while you're breathing out, it's also floral, but it's also kind of bitter. And I'm just not loving it. I think maybe if there was sugar, maybe some milk, I think would help. Personal opinion. It's not bad. Yeah, I think it needs a little bit of sweetener and a little bit of milk. That's just my opinion. As far as black tea goes, though, it's not too bad. Okay. Next, I'm gonna do the San Pincha. Uh, I didn't have a clear mug for this one, so uh, here's an overhead. Okay, so this should taste like jasmine. It smells really, really lightly. That's pretty good. It's got the floral the same floral kind of hints as this, but like a little sweeter. Hmm. I actually kind of like that one. It's also a little bit bitter though, just like at the end. If you like green tea and you just want something a little bit different, that's good. Now the one we all know I've been waiting for, Kojicha. good. So these are roasted tea leaves and they smell like delicious roasted tea. Earthy and nutty and sweet but not too sweet and the aftertaste is more like burnt kind of bitter. Like, it's still bitter, but it's like slightly different. <laughs> I'm good at this. Would you just like a black tea? 
but also different. I, I really don't know how to describe this flavor. Toasty and earthy. Toasty, earthy, nutty. Yep. That's how I'm describing the Swajicha. So, that is all I had for today. Uh, not a very long video, not a very in-depth video. Uh, not a whole lot I can say about these teas, to be honest. Um, I love hojicha, obviously, it's my favorite. The sandpin stuff is green tea. It's more like jasmine tea. But like... Okay. Like if jasmine tea and black tea made tea. <laughs> Not quite had a baby, just made tea. Um, that's how I describe that. And this black tea stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna go with very close to an orange pico or maybe an English breakfast. Yeah, like an English breakfast or just like a, you know, like a morning tea with that bitter aftertaste. Anyway, so that's all I have for you today. Uh, if you liked what you just watched, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button and you can comment if you want. And... and that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you. Bye! Did I even say at any point that I had a reading disability? And yes, I did. Uh, the stumbling and the pain. And... Oh, Lord, I'm tired. <clears throat> so that's what I'm going to go have some tea.